In today's tutorial, we will have a look at a retrosynthetic synthetic analysis. This is the target molecule. We have the benzene ring here. We have a tertiary alcohol there. And this heterocycle, it's an aromatic heterocycle, is called a pyrazole. So, the first step we have to look for strategic bonds and as we know a benzene ring usually doesn't contain strategic bonds it is provided by one of the starting materials in general so let's see one possibility the first retrosynthetic approach is uh, here with a tertiary alcohol and it could be formed by the reaction of a Grignard reagent. So a propyl magnesium halide with a ketone. So in this case, we have still the pyrazole had arene present like this. The alternative is the retrosynthetic approach number two, forming the pyrazole in the last step of the synthesis. So, and how is the pyrazole synthesized? Well, here we have clearly a phenylhydrazine moiety and with an acid catalyzed condensation reaction we could end up here, well, what would be the other starting material besides phenylhydrazine, the tertiary alcohol, here we have a ketone, here also a ketone, and the strategic bonds is this one and this imine. So, an imine and also an enamine usually can be formed by a condensation reaction with the corresponding carbonyl compounds. So, which way is better? Well, maybe we should think about problems that this structure could cause could have at least the idea what about a condensation process here acid dri acidic driven does this reaction condensating to alpha beta unsaturated carbonyls could this occur readily question mark so the product on the first glimpse looks rather stable but let me place these double bonds slightly different here, there and there. In that case we see this moiety and what kind of moiety is that? A cyclopenta DNO and this is known to be rather unstable since its mesomeric structure with the negative 
charge at the oxygen and the positive, the positive charge here in the five-membered ring, this resembles a cyclopentadienyl cation which has anti-aromatic character and therefore is thermodynamically disfavored and therefore we can assume that uh, the condensation here to this structure does not occur that readily. Well, nevertheless, let's assume we have this structure. Next retrosynthetic step would be the same as here above in the retrosynthetic path 1, making use of the Grignard reagent. This compound with the three ketones would be the starting material. And here we already see, well, we have a selectivity problem. If the propyl Grignard reacts with that compound, why should it react preferentially with this or that symmetrical ketone functionality and not with that one. So, it's a selectivity problem which then would diminish the yield we could achieve. So, this is certainly a disadvantage of this pathway. On the other hand, retrosynthetic analy analysis further on here Well, the same as here. Phenyl, hydrazine with yeah, as an acid catalyzed condensation would lead from here to there. That means retrosynthetic analysis from here we would also get to this intermediary product or starting material. That means that pathway 1 and pathway 2 well, are only different in the way which reaction either the Grignard or the condensation we do first and which one we do as the second step. So, this is certainly preferred because we don't have a selectivity problem with the addition of a Grignard reagent because here we have only one carbonyl group compared to those three carbonyl groups and this imine won't, won't react with the Grignard reagent because the E, this imine is part of that aromatic system. Well, here in this case we have to ask for this reaction, do we really get the right radioselectivity? Does this amino group of a phenyl hydrogen really attack that or that carbonyl group first? And not this one. Let's have a look what would be the result if we make the condensation of this carbonyl group with this amino group, the primary amino group, and this carbonyl group with a secondary amino group. So in this case, And here the carbonyl group, 
there a nitrogen, there a nitrogen, there the phenyl group, here the amine, and there is the other phenyl group. And what everyone now should notice, here we had the disadvantage of the cyclopentadienyl ketone, and here we have also such a disfavored dienyl ketone with some kind of intrinsic anti aromatic character. So this should be thermodynamically disfavored compared to that one. So, and this means from here to there will work selectively. Also this step from here to there will work selectively. Let's now have a final look at this molecule. How would we synthesize that? Clearly, this is the strategic bond. This diketone as a starting material, deprotonating nucleophilic center. On the other hand, we need a reagent here introducing this moiety, moiety with the electrophilic center and that could then, as synthetic equivalent, be anything with a leaving group here, maybe a chloride that would be benzoyl chloride, but presumably also already benzoic acid, ester, methyl or ethyl ester would work just fine. Thanks for listening.